it's recording. So welcome to Cibor interim meeting. I posted the Etherpad with the agenda to the WebEx chat. I'm gonna do that again. Who joined after that? Um, on the agenda today, we have a status update on the Cibor specification, which I saw got an update like 30 minutes ago, but I haven't had time to see that update. So if you custom can walk us through, that'll be great. Then since last interim, Karsten will talk about the ABNF addition to CDDL. Oh, I had the wrong, wrong link here. I'm just gonna move that. And then my status update on Seaboard tag for date. And then any other business. Um, yeah, Karsten, you can take the lead. Right. Um, so, uh, the, the, in the last meeting, we discussed that uh, we were going to need an updated uh, changes se section in the appendix and a lot of small nits. Um, I have uh, generated three small pull requests uh, on uh, nits. Uh, so, these uh, pull requests are uh, can you try to show them? It takes uh, incredibly long for me to show them. Yeah, sure. One second. Yeah, so let, I, I'll start talking while you set it up. Um, so we had uh, discussed uh, some redundancy in section 5.2, uh, which um, I think addresses the uh, issue that that's uh, out there. Uh, we had uh, discussed uh, section 7.1, which wasn't quite in, in the right tense in, in all cases. Um, and uh, I slightly re rearranged the text there um, and I used the, the uh, occasion to change the the discussion on extension points to actually go into the IANA considerations and make a minor change. So if you can click on files changed. Um, we had discussed uh, coming up. Oh, you have a wide version of that. Very nice. Uh, we we had discussed that. Can you scroll down? Uh, we had discussed that. Uh, Oh, that, that's 5.2. Um, so on, on the 7.1. Ah, very good. Thank you. Um, so we, we had discussed that maybe we wanted to reserve some of the 1, point, uh, 1 plus 2 space to actually uh, ask for specification required. So further down in, in the text, uh, there, there is a change that makes the range from 256 to half of uh, 16 bits specification required and the rest of the 16 bit range, the 32 bit and the 64 bit range uh, are uh, continue to be first come first served. So that's something that we discussed, uh, but uh, apparently never got around to actually doing um, so I, I hope this is uh, still something that, that the working group wants to do. Any comments right now? Looks good. Yes, that was a collision for me. Plus one. Plus one. Thank you. And the third um, actually is, is a mistake we made in the um, handling of uh, pull request number 18. Um, so, um, as you may know, there, there are some uh, 
tags that actually can receive multiple content and uh, complicated content and uh, which react to specific major types in that content. So you can say all the byte strings in, in this uh, tree uh, actually need to be base64 encoded when converting this to JSON or need to be base64 URL encoded. So that's for tag 21 and 22. And uh, for some reason, we try to do the same thing for uh, tag number 33 and 34. So um, the the red text that, that is uh, going away at the top of the screen or in the middle of the screen, uh, this was the addition that came with number 18. And Lawrence made us aware that, that this actually would be a change, uh, a larger change than we thought it would be because it changes the, the domain of uh, the tags 33 and uh, 34. Uh, and it, it gets uh, particularly weird for other things like URIs and so on. Um, so I'm not sure that we actually thought this through uh, pro properly and I'm proposing to revert this. Yeah, indeed. So waiting for an ex uh, uh, yes, of course, we are. <laughs> we can't do this, this current. So if there's no way to uh, smooth it in, then the reversion is fine. Yeah, we can always define new tags that have this uh, behavior, but changing the existing tags to suddenly have this behavior and accept new kinds of, of uh, tag content is probably not the right thing to do at this point. And uh, the, 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 the other change looks large, but it really just clarifies the word alphabet. Um, the, the, the existing text is using the word alphabet, and uh, this sounds like only letters can be in, in Base64 encoding. So I clarify that the term alphabet is actually defined in the sections 5 and 4 of RFC 4648. So these are the, the uh, new pull requests. The one pull request that I still have to write is the one for the changes. So I, I was uh, hoping I could do this like 10 days ago, but I couldn't. So this stays on, on the to-do list. Yeah, you know, the, on the issues side, uh, the, the two uh, issues uh, with the yellow label, uh, they are covered by the uh, PRs. And uh, the issue 183, I think uh, the, the reporter already put up some, some thumbs up there. So, uh, oh, we have some new text, okay. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, so I, I generate a pull request for that. And I think that's it. Good. Um, I I uh, don't know if Michael. Um, have you been following your uh, your review? And is there anything you want to discuss? No, I think Karsten's got it well in hand. Great. So I think we can uh, wait for for this additional or this one additional PR, and then go ahead merge these. I think they make sense. Um, and then we wait for the update. Right. So 
next item. BNF. Yes, so um, I, I misread the, the agenda and didn't look at the heading and only at the draft. So th there's not really much to report about the notable tax document. <laughs> so I didn't prepare uh, much. So I have, I now yeah, have a, a mission from one of the authors of the tax specifications to include uh, his text there. And I think I will do that and then take another round asking the working group whether this is a good way to to uh, handle this. But uh, again, I didn't manage to do this in, in the last 10 days. So on the um, ABNF, um, essentially same thing. I, I have uh, one slide I showed at the end of the uh, meeting on April 20 something. Um, that, that shows the proposal. I haven't really received any feedback on this proposal. And one reason may be that it simply is pretty good. So it, it's hard to do it better than that. Um, but uh, it may also be that people ha haven't really looked at the uh, proposal. So uh, please do it in the Cibor Freezer uh, document. And if you have any, any additional ideas how to improve this. Um, so I, I did a, a little experiment um, in one uh, CDDL spec. We need um, to define what a curry is, which is a form of UI that, that has a namespace uh, component. And uh, I took the ABNF and, and uh, uh, threw it into an ABNF to regex converter. And the result is, is pretty funny. I mean, it's, it's completely unreadable, useless as, as uh, something you would write in a specification. So it really s seems to me that, that having ABNF capability in CDDL is, is actually uh, useful. Yeah, but th th that's unless people have comments on this uh, right now, that I think that's all we can do right now. Yes. I sat down and started reading this yesterday. And Great. I've got two comments. I'm not too sure where they go. Um, comment number one, it looks like the draft to, to be able to put Unicode characters natively in ABNF has died. So I'm not too sure that we need to worry about that particular issue. It's, it's just a problem if you're doing UTF-8 encoded to actually read it. The second... Yeah, so th that's really something that, that should be discussed with the people who are trying to maintain ABNF. Uh, because I think a common reading of uh, ABNF um, is uh, that ABNF doesn't tell you uh, what care set is being used, it's all about code points. So you actually don't need a document that tells you how to do Unicode in ABNF because ABNF already can do Unicode. Yes, but you can't actually type you know, the character. You, you can't type the euro sign in your ABNF. You have to encode it as hex. Because ABNF itself is restricted to ASCII characters. Right. So you would do a percent uh, egg something, yes. Right. Um, but there was a draft to actually extend the character set of ABNF to be to include Unicode. Right. Okay. Uh, the second one is I started looking at things and trying to figure out if I could use the grouping operator on a sequence of strings in some way. And I haven't managed to think about it hard enough, but it would be a different way of presenting the ABNF than as a byte string. 
Yes, it, it probably would mean that you need at least four or five characters of noise on every line of, of uh, ABNF. And I'm not sure that that's very nice for the spec reader. No, I, as like I said, I hadn't looked at it very hard. I'm I'm sure you can make it work, but the result is is uh, much harder to read than than the little hack here. And uh, when when I get to choose between purity and usability, I I know where I'm going to. Right, but it it would allow you to natively include you know characters. Okay, if you can maybe in, in a message to the mailing list explain how that would work, that, that would be very interesting. Yeah, I think I can manage that. Yeah, we could also just uh, um, be bold and say, oh, the, the stuff in our ABNF uh, pieces is almost but entirely unlike RFC 5234 because it does allow Unicode characters. So we, we, we don't have to be exactly like ABNF in, in uh, those parts. Okay, any other comments on this? Then I think the next one is the date tag, the date tags. Jessica, are you back? I am back, sorry. I missed a bit of a discussion, but. Yeah, next item, Mike. Yes, hi. This is Mike. Um, let's see, I've got two sets of comments from first, uh, one with editorial corrections and making it clear what zero means, which I'll do. And the other was a suggestion to also include a reference to a different date number modified Julian date. And I've been on the fence about whether to do that or not. Um, we could, I don't want it to be normative. I want it to be that, you know, 1970 January 1st is zero. Yes. Um, you know, I went to the web and found a modified Julian date converter and got the same time or date offset number as you did, Karsten. You know, whether I trust a random thing I found on the web or not is you know, questionable, but maybe right. Uh, what I wanted us to talk about what is the value of adding that and do we want to do it or not? Kind of what I've been holding up on for updating the draft, and I wasn't sure how to think about that. So, those working group members present, what do you think? The modified Julian date goes back to a date in the 1800s, 17 November 1858. I'm not sure why that's zero in the system. Yeah. So. Um... There is something called a Julian date, uh, which is unwieldy because it starts at, at noon um, and has an epoch date that is way back. So uh, at some point, people decided they, they no longer wanted to use uh, Julian dates. They wanted to use modified Julian dates by re removing 2.4 million, by re uh, subtracting 2.4 million 
0.5 from the Julian date. So the 0.5 gives, gives you a start at midnight and the 2.4 million uh, makes the, the whole thing uh, easier to handle. And th that's because they wanted to have a round number. That's why they came up with this weird November 17th uh, thing. Uh, but I think anybody who's doing anything in astronomy or, or uh, time uh, keeping and so on knows what a modified Julian date is. Uh, so that would be the value for me as an implementation note, not, not as another way of trying to, to define it, but as an implementation note, note if you actually have an MJD, then uh, uh, subtracting 40,578 uh, from it uh, gives you the Unix state. I'm, I'm fine with that if people agree. I do see that it's used in astronomy. Very heavily. I don't think I'm seeing any penalties for doing that. No, I just hope I, you know, that we didn't do it wrong. Maybe it, I can call the web and see if I can find multiple independent calculators and see if I can get the same result. To at least increase my confidence that the constant value that we're putting in of 1,587 is correct. That was, that was my hesitancy. Yeah, I did put a draft like that, and then the working group can decide if we're ready to actually register the tags. Well, I think we should register the, the tags now. There is, I don't think there is any technical issue that that's still open uh with the document so i would propose to go ahead with this okay well i will submit the registration request agreed yes Please do so okay and and come back with uh to the mailing list after you have checked uh this if you see any problem with this. Will do. Great. Thanks, Thank you, Mike. Okay. Okay. On the agenda, this was the last topic. Is there anything else that people would like to talk about? Yeah, I think uh, in the last meeting I mentioned that the SDF activity from one data model is, is converging. And uh, actually it, it's looking pretty good. And uh, we, we are probably going to submit uh, the 00, zero uh, draft uh, to the IETF uh, this week. And this is of interest to this group because uh, we are actually using CDDL there. And uh, maybe the, the latest innovation uh, we had was uh, handling extension points uh, by having a CDDL specification that uses the word extension point on all lines that, that contain extension points. And by simply doing a grep-v on that specification, you get a specification that does not have the extension points, so you can check whether you have typos and so on in, in your uh, uh, data items uh, with respect uh, to what's currently defined. So th this is was so, so amazingly trivial <laughs> that, I, that I thought I, I might just uh, report this. Um, so let me try to send the link here. Well, this is uh, the, the current definition, and you, you can look at the formal syntax, which has the, the um, words extension point sprinkled uh, over it. And uh, yeah, so th that's maybe a, a slight taste of what we might be able to do in CDDL 2.0 in a more structured 
way, but grab dash V is, is coming uh, to, as a help um, right now. Okay, thank you. Could you post or forward to the mailing list when it uh, gets submitted? I definitely will, yes. Great, thank you. Anything else? If not, um, we can close the meeting for today. So we will be meeting as planned, that is uh, June 17th. And I guess the agenda will be update on CBORBIS. Hopefully we have a new version and um, Shepherd review done. And then if you have any other item you would like to bring up, please send an email to the mailing list. Okay. Thank you so much for today. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.